hello so in this example let's try to uh, create furniture shadow so let's go to Revit project for our furniture and let's go to view and let's create let's count the quantities of our furniture let's go to shadow quantities in here I should select which part I would like to use so from here you can see groups so furniture furniture systems uh, case works so a lot of different parts for furnitures and in my case I want to calculate all the furniture uh, you can select a special part or special category of your furniture but let's use a multi-category shadow furniture and let's press ok from here let's try to remember these parameters and let's put basic parameters to our project so first let's use a mark maybe type mark next type of the furniture so type type comments description model counting and basic comments and I also I will use category to maybe put some filters to get all the furnitures in my shadow okay so let's go to filter and let's choose category in and in the category I can select I want to filter furniture also if you select this category so you should be aware about some other furniture groups will not be implemented so maybe casework or other stuff so you should check double check before you finalize and of course after you finish creating your schedule you should check if all your objects is inside this schedule okay so for our sorting grouping I will select uh, maybe type mark next part is type and i want to calculate all the objects i will not use itemize every instance next part let's leave mark type mark okay mark should be centered type mark also so in my case I will not put marks for each of objects so maybe later I will want to do this so for this task I will use only type mark so I can just delete this and call it mark type comments description model okay put center counting okay let's put center and calculate totals comments okay and category also I don't want to see category I can hide it in appearance section let's select title 3.5 other parts header and body 2.5 ESO text format 
and from here I will combine these parameters name and technical and technical parameters. I will delete these parts. Let's select these elements and let's type 90. You can see if I select all scheduled elements, all my furniture object is highlighted in my 3D model. It means all the elements are calculated. In here I will select and use 15 and let's say furniture one. I will give some tagging furniture to okay furniture three furniture four and this should be fifteen so let's put thirty and let's check how much I have here 35 so let's give it maybe 35 and I have 10 millimeters more so I can give additional 40 here now let's modify this part borders I uncheck and use this one and for name I uncheck and check on the, the lower part. So from here I see some descriptive information. Of course, all the fields should be filled in with some information and, and it's better to use manufacturer information so you can identify the objects which you are using in your project. And I see how many quantities I need in my project.